Welcome. My name is Zuri, and I'm going to take you through this very special yin practice here today. You will notice that I'm wearing long sleeves and slightly warmer and longer leggings because yin is a very slow, very passive, very gentle practice, and it's important to keep the body nice and warm. So if you wanted to put some nice warm socks on, feel free to do that. Keep the body nice and cozy. And you also may need a few props in this practice. I've taken, we're doing this practice from home. I've taken a few large towels, rolled them up to create like a bolster. I've got two of those, so you may need those to assist you in your practice here today. So yin, I love yin. And for me, the practice of yin is a practice of showing love, compassion and kindness towards the body. The thing is we expect a lot of ourselves all the time and we forget that our body, our soul, needs nurturing. We need to take time to tune inwards and connect into what it is that we need. And I really feel that we need this more than ever at this time. So this practice here today is going to be a little point of difference about really nurturing and feeding your soul. So find a comfortable seated position. You could place a cushion underneath your sit bones. Sit cross-legged, sit however you feel most comfortable. And you can either rest your hands on your thighs with your palms gently turned up or bring your hands into heart prayer position. Close your eyes if you want to. Just notice the gentle ebb and flow of your breath. Breathing calmly, quietly. Maybe count the breath on your inhale. And breathe out for the same count, the same rhythm. Maybe observe and notice the gentle rise and fall of your chest when you breathe. Bring your focus to the tip of your nose and feel the coolness of your breath as you inhale, and the warmth of your breath as you exhale on the tip of your nose. Just breathe. Notice how easy it is to breathe. It should be easy to breathe, easy to maintain and easy to follow. simple awareness and connection to your breath is deeply calming. You may already start to feel a sense of ease, a sense of peace. And a sense of belonging in your body. Gently just start to rub the hands together. As you do that, just notice that warmth, that little bit of friction as you very gently rub the palms, very gently and very slowly together. You might feel like it's getting warmer and warmer creating a gentle flow of energy between your hands. Now move 
move those hands apart just slightly so there's just a little bit of space between your palms. You may feel the energy still. Even in the space, you get a sense and a feel of that energy between the palms. And if you were to move very gently and very slowly those hands away, it feels like you're drawing that energy with you, expanding it. Just pause here as though you're holding that energy right in front of your heart, your chest, and start to press it a little closer together. What if you were to almost create like a ball of energy in front of your heart and just allow the hands to circle around that energy, that ball of energy that you created. Hold it in your hands. And just circle and rotate that ball of energy around between your hands, between your palms, Again, press the palms towards each other without them touching. Get a feel and a sense of that energy there between your hands. Expand it, draw it out wider. Can you still feel that connection and that awareness to that energy? They feel tingling in the fingers. Press that energy towards each other. Hold that ball of energy right in front of your own heart. Can you feel it? Can you connect to it? What's the sense of the chi energy that we will be working with in this practice? That's your own energy that moves not just within but without. You see, the thing is, we're made up of energy, and the energy is not just contained within the body, but it moves externally, outside of your body. I'm going to bring that together and move with that energy in this practice here today. As you bring your hands into heart prayer position, let's bow the head down to the earth. Now you could change your seated position if you wanted to. You could take your legs out in front of you. You could take a little bit of space or you could come into a kneeling position depending on what feels right in your body. If you want to sit in a kneeling position, maybe place one of those rolled up towels underneath between your hips and your heels. If you're comfortable just resting here, just take a moment. And I want you to just gently press the hands out in front of you so that the hands are in line with your shoulders, but there's a little bit of space between the hands. Now the palms have rotated up. You're opening the hands up, the palms have rotated up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. Start to move just your little finger, your ring finger, your middle finger, index, and then your thumb on the outside to make a gentle fist. And just gently squeeze it, not too tightly. And bring those knuckles towards your shoulders. Little pause here. Draw the elbows out wide, so the elbows the widest part of your body. The hands still in a light fist. Push away like you imagine you're doing a big stretch. Reach those hands away, the palms reaching away from the body. Rotate, turn the palms up to face the sky towards the ceiling. Bring that little finger in again gently. Ring finger, middle, index, thumb on the outside. Draw the knuckles towards the shoulders. Draw the elbows in. And release and extend those arms back out in front. So start very slowly, little finger, just gently curl the fingers in, thumb on the outside. Bring the knuckles towards the shoulders. Keep the knuckles here nice and still, but just draw the elbows out wide, opening, chest, heart. Keep expanding and push the hands away, releasing the fingers. The fingers pointing towards the sky, rotate, draw the palms up, create space, softening the fingers, reverse, making a fist, draw the fingers in, just moving from your fingers, knuckles to shoulders, elbows draw in, release, 
Let's just try one more in your own time. Bring the knuckles in. And draw the elbows out wide. Be a beautiful stretch. Feel that energy moving away from the center of your body, from your heart, reaching out to extend to almost the heel of the hands, pressing into the tips of the fingers. Open, rotate the palms up. Draw it in, one finger at a time until you make that gentle fist curl. Draw the elbows in. Release the arms out, soften the fingers, relax the hands and press the hands all the way down. Roll the shoulders back, keep that chest nicely open. And then take the hands to touch the ground. They may touch the ground, they may not. Just take the fingers towards the ground if they don't touch the ground. And just flex up and over to one side. Just get a nice gentle movement into side body. Sweep the arm in front, let it go. Come up and over, reach and extend into the tips of the fingers. Sweep that arm around in front. Just do one more each side. Reach up and over. Let that arm circle around in front of you. Last one to the other side, come up. Extension, reaching into the tips of the fingers, sweep, circle that arm around in front, come back to center. Now taking the knees just slightly wider than the hips, reach the arms out in front, come into child's pose, forehead softens onto the mat. Let the center of the forehead rest either onto the mat or your ground in front of you or onto a bolster or rolled up towel for a bit of support. Take the arms over and across to one side. So shift the weight to the right side first, gentle, slow movements. And don't give too much at this stage. As you come through the center, try that to the other side, shifting the weight up and over to the other side. The big sigh with a big release. Let your body land in this space. you come back through the center. Just pause here, hands slightly wider than shoulders, forehead softening onto the ground. Walk the hands back towards the body. Switch the angles of the legs, bring the legs out in front of you. And just move the legs gently from side to side, just a little release. Getting some movement through the feet, getting the circulation flowing again, just moving the feet gently from side to side, a little bit like windscreen wipers. And let's come into the butterfly pose. So for this one here, I'm going to bring the soles of the feet together. The knees just gently open and have a play around with the different ranges of movement available to you. Could move the legs further away or bring them in much closer. Once the soles of the feet touch, just gently hinge forward, feeling as though you're creating space into the back of the body, widening the back of the rib cage. Head comes down and forwards. Last of all, let the arms rest on the ground, maybe slight bend on those elbows. So this is me, you may want to use your props. If you wanted to, you could place some support under the outer thigh, or maybe use that to support the head, taking it down in front and resting your forehead onto your prop. So now we marinate the body into this pose, connecting into the stillness and the silence of being in this space. There's nothing else you need to do. And there's nowhere else you need to be other than connected into this space and into this shape.
just take about another minute in this pose. Knowing that you've got less than a minute here, just notice how the body responds. One more round of your breath. That's a calming breath in and a long breath out. As you gently walk your hands back towards your body, come up to a seated position, take a moment for your body to settle here. And as you turn to use the full length of your mat, bring your right leg in front and your left leg behind you for the deer pose. Again, set the body up again. You could take some support under that front knee. I'm just making sure you feel balanced through both the sit bones. I'm going to take my rolled up towel here and bring it out in front and hinge and lean forward slightly over that right leg as I move away from my left hip. Now you could either support the arms on that bolster or support your head or a combination of the two. Hinging forwards, coming into slight compression of that right hip as I move away from the left hip. You may feel it down through, not just the hip, but down through that quad, in front of your thigh. Just take a moment to settle. To bring your focus, your awareness back to your breath. Calmly breathing in. And letting go with that breath out. Get that sense and feel of release. Take one more round of your breath here. Gradually walk the hands back towards the body. We're going to stay in the deer pose, but just change the angles. I want you to move that prop almost in line with your right hip and just lean over to that right side gently, slowly does it. And that bolster, that prop can support either the shoulder or the right side of your rib cage as you come over to one side. Now you can keep this arm just here, but if it's comfortable, bring it up and over. Again, getting into the side body and just resting. Keep the legs in the same position. Just shift it and change the angle of the upper body. the subtle changes, how that feels different in your body. Give yourself time to really tune in and connect to this pose. Where do you feel it? How does it feel? Maybe you feel something, maybe you feel nothing.
One more round of your breath here. And take that top half and lightly press it into the mat to support the body as you come up. And we're going to come into a very gentle rebound and going to lay on your back for this rebound. So just slowly roll your body down, let your body rest. And you might just need three to four rounds of your breath here. Maybe a minute or more. It's important that you take what you need. Tuning in and listening to the body now. Stay a little longer here if you need that. And gradually start to bring your body back up to a seated position as we repeat that process on the other side. So this time I'm going to bring the left leg in front. So the left leg externally rotated with the right leg internally rotated. Again, I'm gonna use my prop, my rolled up towel, and bring it so it's almost straight out in front of that left leg. And I'm going to lean forward. So again, Maybe for some of us, just leaning forward and propping yourself on your forearms is all that you need here today. If that's enough, remember enough is okay. You don't need to give too much. Somewhere between that space of too much and too little is a space of just enough. And that's the space we're connecting to here today. Just enough. yourself to be held and to be supported by the mat, by the ground beneath you, by your props. Part of the practice here today is allowing your body to be held and be nurtured to be supported. One more round of your breath here. And as you gently bring your body up, we're staying in the same shape with the legs, but changing the upper half of the body, move your prop to the outside of your left hip. And slowly start to lean and shift over to the left side. Take your time. Now I'm extending that bottom arm so that the prop can sit under the shoulder and under the rib cage, leaning all the way down. Take a moment to just let the body settle. Take the top arm over the top if that feels comfortable in your body. And just let it either hang in front or be supported on that outside hip here. Again, it's about listening in, and taking what it is that your body needs in this practice here today. That may be something different to what you've done before. Today is a completely different day, in a new time, a new space. You can make sure you honour and respect that.
Just take one more round of your breath here. Take that top arm to support the weight of the upper body as you bring your body up. Take your time coming out of it. And this time as I come up, I'm going to lean to the left to release that back foot first and take it out nice and long and wide and then extend the other leg. Now here is where again you may want to use the props. If you're particularly tight or it feels uncomfortable through the hips, the pelvis or the lower back, sit on, could be sitting on a cushion, sitting up on a rolled up towel. Now the feet are as wide as you feel comfortable with, they don't have to go particularly wide here. Feeling a connection and an awareness down through the inner thighs, You're targeting this part of your body. But you can soften your feet and if the feet fall, allow them to fall gently outwards, just subtly because we are targeting the inside of the legs. So I'm just an awareness of the feet, just slightly externally rotating. Now very slowly, just walk the hands forwards until you can come down onto your forearms and that might be all that we need here today. And just that subtle hinging forwards or leaning forwards will intensify the energy that you may be feeling through the inner thighs. And if that feels like it's too much, then just bring the arms further away from the ground. Now you can take a moment here. And then start to extend those arms a little further. For me, I'm going to use that bolster to support my head on here today. It should still be easy to breathe easy to maintain and easy to follow. Just one more round of your breath here. Take a long breath out. And gradually start to walk the hands back towards the body. And again, taking your time coming out of it. There's no need to rush. I come out of this one I'm going to come into gentle rebound laying on my tummy this time so take your time roll over lie face down now your head could rest in the middle your head could rest on one side arms long and heavy beside you 
both arms and both legs resting on the mat. Again, just allowing the floor beneath you to hold and support your body. When you allow that to happen, how does that feel? Do you give yourself permission to let go and to be held and be supported? Notice that sense of letting go and being held and supported may feel uncomfortable if you're not used to being held, if you're not used to being supported in life. Just let that wash over you. Just let that land. Whatever you feel is okay. Let it be. You slowly walk the hands towards the front edge of the mat, come into Sphinx Pose. Create a straight line roughly from your elbow to your shoulder. And again, you could use a prop here if you wanted to use that rolled up towel or your cushion and place it just under the rib cage and then soften the rib cage into it. For the chest comes forwards. And so I've opened up and created space around my heart, around my chest. At the top, the crown of my head is lifted up. Try not to force that lift. Just get a sense and a feel of lift or opening through the crown of the head. And then as you let the lower jaw soften and relax, get a sense of sinking the spine down between the shoulder blades and so you're giving yourself permission to let your spine hang off your shoulders. And there's also a sense of letting the pelvis become heavy, relaxing across the back of your hips. Let your body just be here. Let it just maintain this connection and this awareness to being in the Sphinx pose. And just as I've created space into the front of the heart, I've also created that space into the sides and the back of my heart too. And again, I should find that ease with which it is able for me to breathe easily. And to maintain this breath and to follow my flow of my breath. It's a very up lifting pose. Now that sense and that feel of the energy being drawn up through the heart and through the chest can sometimes feel a little overwhelming. You could be flooded with a, a sense of feeling happy or Almost a sense of feeling slightly overwhelmed or emotional. For me here today, I'm getting that real sense of wanting to smile. So I'm just going to go with that. Remember, there is no right or wrong.
take one more round of your breath here. As you slowly unwind, gently bring your body down. Maybe turn your head on one side, maybe rest your head in the middle. And just let your body soften and settle here. Noticing the different sensations that you may be experiencing in this space now. They feel like tingling, feel a vibration. May feel something, may feel nothing. Gently bring your body up into the child's pose, hands under the shoulders. As we come into this child's pose, big toes together, knees slightly wider than the hips. Sweep the arms behind, let the arms just hang on the ground behind your body, forehead softening onto the mat towards the ground. Transitioning to a seated position, bring the legs out in front of you. Slowly, gently, calmly, quietly, roll the body back to the mat. You've got all the time that you need, so just take your moment to roll down. Let the body land here, the feet are flat, the knees are bent. Just allowing the spine to settle into this position right here. Let me roll the shoulders back down away from the ears. Slightly turn the palms up to face the ceiling towards the sky. And maybe move the arms just slightly wider. I feel as though the shoulders, the shoulder blades, the arms are being fully supported by the ground beneath you. Gently squeeze, so just gently squeeze your knees, your inner thighs together, just gently as you bring both the legs up and over and across to one side. Now maybe the legs touch the floor, maybe they don't. So long as the hips and the ankles, the feet are supported, it's okay to let the knees just drift in, into space there. And now I'm going to rotate my head and look in the opposite direction. Try and allow the left shoulder to become as heavy as you can on the mat. There's a sense of feeling that connection to the ground through your upper body, through your chest, the shoulders, through your arms. As you come into gentle spinal twist, seen as an ultimate release and letting go of the twists. But also a very calming, Very grounding pose, this supine laying twist. One more round of your breath here. First bring the head back to the center. 
and let it settle. Gently draw the inner thighs together, squeeze the knees to touch. So you gently massage the lower back into the ground as you come back to center, pause here for a moment. The ankles, the knees, the inner thighs, just gently hugging each other as we drift over to the other side. Take your time, stacking the feet. Keeping the knees fairly close. Shift the weight over. Maybe the knees touch the floor, maybe they don't. Rotate the head, look in the opposite direction. So turning my head to look towards the right arm, looking towards the tips of the fingers or closing your eyes. Rinsing, rotating and releasing through the middle of your body. The shoulders become heavy, the arms heavy on the ground. One more round of your breath right here as you are. First bring the head back to the center. Let the head settle where it is. Gently squeeze the ankles, the knees, the inner thighs to touch. As you drift the legs back to the center, let the feet land. Both feet grounded, bring the arms just a little closer. Bring knees to chest, either placing the hands on the back of your thighs, taking the hands halfway down the shin, just gently hug the body. And really to me that is the essence of yin. It's like I'm hugging, I'm loving, I'm nurturing, I'm showering, showering my body with love and compassion in the yin practice and it's what it's all about. Because if we don't show ourselves that beautiful love and compassion, I'm literally hugging here, hugging, I'm like giving my legs, my body, almost a beautiful bear hug. Because if we don't do this for ourselves, then who will? feet down. Slide the legs away as we come into the final asana, resting the body into Shavasana. Slide the arms down, rotate the palms up, let the feet fall out. There's a sense of letting go of the body, of letting the body land and rest. Again, of just letting be.
as you gently begin to move the fingers, move your toes, gentle movements of the body. Move the feet back towards you. Roll gently over onto one side, come into the fetal position. Knees are bent, rest on one side. Again, I'm going to use support all the time through this practice today, supporting, nurturing the body. Seated position here. Finishing this practice like we started. Bring your hands, raise those hands towards the heart, into heart prayer position. All that's left to do is to bring this practice to an end here today. As I bow my head down to the earth, I say to you, Namaste. I do hope you enjoyed this practice. I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you.